Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since we've last talked, but I promised y'all some videos on photography. That's not what this video is going to be about. As we look around, you can see my face. Flip it around. This would happen to be one of the spare rooms that I've got. And I've been trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do with this room. And at first I thought about the idea of coming up with a studio. But I said, you know, I basically have a walks, a walking studio in my hand. So next best thing is let's build a gym. Yeah. Now you might not know it, but I used to be uh, right here. Let me get the light right. All right, let's start that one over again. I used to really be big into my own personal fitness and my own health. I was one of those people who used to go to the gym every day. And before that, I was that one guy who would be playing Pump It Up or DDR all day long. But life happens and we zoom out a bit. Mm, mm. Yeah, you can't see in my stomach, but that's all right. Y'all don't need to see that. But my point being though is that what I wanted to do was, well, hey, you know what? I have this room and I have to come up with some use for it. So I decided that, you know what? It's time to get back into that whole mindset of working out, eating healthy. And this is where we begin at. So we start off with the idea of the floor. I have this wonderfully, this beautiful laminate flooring that I don't really want to ruin by piling equipment all on top of it. And the subflooring, don't want to tear that up either. So as you can see, I got tiles and this is what we're going to start with. Now these aren't actually foam tiles. These are in fact tiles that are made out of rubber. Yeah, they're more expensive than the foam tiles, but they're also much heavier much heavier and they're going to be able to withstand I hope anyway all of the abuse that I'm going to give which actually won't be a lot but before you even get to that point since you're back to me there we go yeah yeah before we even get to that point of laying down the floor tile, the first thing is you got to know, well, what do I want in my gym? And here's the thing, as someone who's gone to the gym, believe it or not, there's not a whole lot of things you really need for your gym. Now, if we look around, all I have to work with is basically, let me come out here and show you like the whole breadth of the room of which I have to work with. 10 foot by 11 feet. And plus there's some junk in the corner that I gotta get rid of too. But for now it's not in the way because I don't have no equipment in here yet. But the thing is you don't need a ton of equipment unless you're talking about weights, then hey, more weights the better. 
So as I made an allusion to earlier, that when I first started working out, I made an allusion to when I first started working out that I was really big into playing DDR and playing Pump It Up. And it actually only seems suitable that that's what we're going to, that's what I'm going to start with. Well, unless you're doing this too, then yeah, it can also count as a wee move. But you would say that's an odd move to start with, to which I would counter it's the most fun move to start with. Yeah, it's relatively high impact, but you don't have to do it all day to see results. Think of it as the equivalent of doing high intensity interval training. Give it all you got for short bursts, then you get to rest. And so that's what we're going to start with. Step one is going to be then to create a little space for a TV, something to hook up to the TV, which was going to be my PC, but I ran into difficulties with that. And a place to put my home pad at which for now will have to be my pump it up pad and hopefully we're gonna hope that the PlayStation 2 still works. So we're gonna start by putting down some of this nice rubber flooring, which I should show it to y'all, show y'all where. This I got from Lowe's. And I don't know if you can see that, let's zoom in a little bit closer. This is interlocking rubber utility flooring. It's not cheap. 12 square feet of this is almost 40 bucks. But as I say, it is very durable compared to the foam pad. Now you could also go, if you were say in a garage and go to tractor supply and get yourself some stall mats, but they're a hundred pounds per mat. They're four by six. And they also accordingly, from what I've heard, they smell terrible, but if that's what you want to do, you can do that as well. I prefer these because I have stuff I have to work around like the vent and where the doors open at focus on the floor right there where the doors open and close it which the mat might fit underneath there let's see take one throw it down oh, okay as you can see if I zoom out a bit and go down go way down see the door actually does kind of slide overneath that quite nicely so I might not even take the door into consideration so that's the plan for now I'm going to start by laying down some flooring and rolling in the TV from up the hall hooking up the PlayStation 2 and we'll go from there alright let's see what this does 